Speaking as winter approaches, you may be starting to think more and more about moving somewhere yeah, a little warmer. Fortunately, there is help right here in Rhode Island as you search the market for that vacation home down south. Joining us today is Carl Martone from the Martone Group. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Will. Good to see you. Great to see you. Now, I know you were concerned because you said you were cheating on Brendan because usually Brendan's doing this. It, it's true. I feel a little <laughs> weird, but we'll, I think we'll get through I this. Think we're gonna, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> so, look, now is the time a lot of the snowbirds get ready. Yeah. They're thinking about moving down to down to Florida. They want to have you, uh, you know, help them out. So how does your license work between here and moving down south? Well, two separate licenses. So I recently obtained my Florida license, okay. which has been uh, really quite an, a popular thing to have done because we're getting a lot of activity already for the snowbirds and people that just really want to up and leave. Um, not so much because of Rhode Island, just in general, they're looking for a change, job transfers, uh, relatives, we're seeing a lot of the grandparents wanting to get to the grandkids, sure, and sure. A lot, you know, so we're seeing a lot of movement back and forth, north and south. Now, there's also a thing too, because you can help kind of facilitate relocation, not just here in Florida, which most Rhode Islanders do, yeah. but also anywhere in the world. How does that work out? So Remax is amazing, I have to say. The networking that we do on a national and a worldwide basis is right. is amazing, and it's one-on-one -on -one networking. So I know the agent that I'm going to refer a client to, let's say in Arizona. Or or Hawaii or okay. wherever it may be. All right, so because they're all part of the kind of same. They're all part of a network, part and, of the network. and we know each other because we've met each other, we've shaken hands, we've broken bread. We've created a really awesome network throughout right. the United States. Which you need to have, you need to have that trust in someone who you're referring to a client who's probably done a ton of business with you before as they're you know moving on someplace else. Absolutely. Okay, one of the other things too is not only can you help with residential properties, but Look at this. He can help with commercial commercial properties as well. Yeah, we have a really awesome, the Martone Group in general has a really awesome commercial niche and we've done several uh, popular transactions uh, with you know restaurant groups and sure. things like that. And I have to say, I've, I've been really excited about um, that part of our business because I've learned so much about it in the last few decades right and I feel very confident in helping our commercial clients and Carl I mean has has that like the commercial real estate kind of changed uh, uh, well, probably a lot since the pandemic which you know things have been moving around and everything and the, you know we see some places empty see some people not going back into the office I would imagine that's changing yeah too, right? I feel like it's changing a little bit and, now and for though. the better again right? for the better, for the better we're starting again, to yeah. see office space yes. fill up which is great yes which absolutely. is really really good um, Tell us about your level of experience because the real estate industry can be a tough place. You want someone who's connected to a lot of people who, you know, who have been in this business for a long time. I would say that at 19 years old, I, I was that kid who kind of knew what he wanted to do and I went out and got a real estate license. So I started at 19 and I've learned every single day. To this minute, I learn something new every day about our industry and about our business. Um, I, my experience is vast. I've seen a lot of um, strange things happen and I've seen a lot of normal things happen but I'm, I'm pretty much prepared for anything you're gonna throw at me at this right. point. Um, tell, tell us about the uh, you know the, the current market I mean we've heard so many stories like it's a good time to buy a house maybe not a great time to sell it you know kind of back and forth all the time. Yeah I mean we're still in a lack of inventory right uh, 875 single-family homes for sale right wow. now in the whole state 176 multis and I think 196 condos. Got it for for uh, for sale so it, it's still a huge lack of inventory so until that changes and our buyers actually kind of level out kind of level out right great word um we're going to see this kind of supply and demand thing okay. keep going all right well it's good to have you here hopefully it's okay oh brendan brendan's coming in he's a little oh brendan <laughs> <laughs> don't sorry, worry sorry buddy don't worry we're still it, friends it's okay. okay there's no hard feelings you can find this market update over on roadshow.com don't make it want to make anybody mad